Red vs. Blue Season 15 Episode 16 Griff Does a Rescue has officially released, so let me break it down for you. So Temple summons Sarge to have a chat, and as Temple does he butters up Sarge making him feel good and even gives him a promotion, Super Colonel. It's debatable whether or not that's actually a real thing. But as Sarge is loving the sound of that, Surge comes in to tell Temple that they've got an intruder. After they all watch Griff walk around in circles, Temple almost confused him for Biff only for Sarge to immediately correct him that it's Griff. Now I'm honestly surprised that they didn't play the Griff pretending to be Biff card. I was expecting that to happen when Griff showed up, maybe play with Temple's emotions or something like that. Griff still does have an opportunity to pretend to be Biff Jr. and try to catch everyone off guard, but Griff would need to know the story to play it off. Anyway, while Griff is locked up, he apologizes to Caboose for not being a good friend when everyone went to look for church, where we learn the true origin of church's message. It was a call for help, it was indeed in the past, but he's calling for a plumber. The term Alpha was in context to Blood Gulch Alpha, and not his form. So glad that wasn't a thing, I mean for now. We'll have to wait and see what Loco's device is, then we'll determine whether or not Church is gonna come back. Anyway, so as Temple gloats about his success and how they faked Church's message, Caboose persists with his whole I don't understand how death works. I mean we caught a glimpse of that back towards the beginning of the season. It makes me wonder which road the writing is gonna go. Caboose keeps saying how Church is gonna come back because he always has. And then you have people like Simmons and Temple and now Tucker telling him that that's not true. So it makes me wonder, are they actually gonna revive Church once again? Or is Caboose finally gonna come to terms with the fact that Church is dead forever? He seems to be right on the verge of accepting it in this episode. But me personally, I think Church should stay dead forever. His story had a conclusive end in a heavy moment. If they bring him back in any way that isn't a flashback, it's gonna take away from the power that that season 13 ending had. But that's just my opinion. So Bucky brags about having Tucker's sword, Loco still wants to be friends, and Tucker yells at Griff for ruining an escape plan that he didn't know existed. So, you know, calm down there Tucker, because Locus is in the building. Meanwhile with Washington Carolina, they're, as expected. Miserable, starving to death, passing in and out of consciousness, the usual. And then Locust shows up, which seemed easier than expected in my opinion. I would have thought that Washington Carolina would have been the last goal. After everyone was defeated, the audience would get worried about whether Washington Carolina would be alive after it all, but I guess not. I guess they're just going to be alright. And I guess Locust's ability to find secret elevators to death rooms is pretty good also. So, you know, things are on the up and up. Speaking of upsides, Lopez also not seen in this episode, so who knows what adventures he's on. I guess it may be better that Wash and Carolina are saved now as opposed to later, because later is a more predictable and generic route. So while it's not much of a twist, it is a different road, so I'm fine with it. Also something I would have loved to see, it's not gonna happen now because of the way the death room works, but if it were to have just frozen the freelancers in time, keeping them alive instead of slowly starving them, I would have exploded from excitement if Locus freed everyone and there were like 10 pissed off freelancers going against an army of sim troopers. I don't know how I would have handled that, but that's not gonna happen because they're all dead. So we'll see what has to happen next. So be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the episode down in the comments, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're interested in more breakdowns like this, and I'll see you in the next video.